Welcome to Coast General Provincial Hospital. My name is Dr. Macaulay Jones. I'm the Chief Pharmacist. This is one of the many units of Pharmacy Department. This is the Oncology Center. In Oncology, this is where we handle highly toxic pharmaceutical products. And one key responsibility of the pharmacist is to make sure that the drugs that we are using are safe for the patients and also the persons who are responsible for handling of the drugs. The pharmacist checks the doses the patient is receiving by calculating the doses and checking whether the right regimens have been prescribed by the oncologist clinician. Apart from that, they also do the mixing, the proper mixing of the oncology drugs. They monitor the patients for the treatment outcomes. Normally, the response on oncology treatment for some patients may be very erratic. So we do monitoring every time the patient comes to the clinic. We also monitor the adverse drug reactions. Chemotherapy are one of the most toxic drugs we use. So before a patient is initiated on therapy, the pharmacist goes through the regimens, explains to the patients what they expect in terms of the adverse drug reactions, advises on what to do to minimize the risk of adverse drug reactions, and then in conjunction with the physician and the oncologist, they manage the adverse drug reaction if they ever happen. The proportion of patients who experience adverse drug reactions is normally high, and most of the adverse drug reactions are, are quite severe. Therefore, it's very important to sit with the patient so that you can explain what they expect from the entire treatment. Also, we do medication adherence counseling, where we take the patient through the drugs they are, they are going to use, what they expect, and when to come back in events that either they do not respond to treatment or they develop an adverse drug reaction. What we are encouraging as a pharmacy profession is that young pharmacists, graduate pharmacists, identify their area of specialization early enough. Like now, this unit, we are pharmacists who have identified themselves in the area of oncology. They wish to specialize in oncology, so we give them opportunity to work in oncology unit or in any other area where they need to specialize so that they can get to know what is expected in their future in the area they want to specialize. One other thing we encourage young pharmacists to do is to be very proactive in terms of patient care. Other than dealing with the commodities alone, that is the drugs, they need to focus on the patient. And one key thing that we need to do as a profession is in terms of patients who are on long-term treatment, medication reconsideration. Every time a patient comes to the clinic, we need to go through all the medicines the patient they are using. If there's any med med medication that needs to be dropped, it's dropped. Or if there are doses to be adjusted, it's adjusted. Or if there's any other contraindication or interaction, we need to check on that and then advise the patient accordingly. Another thing is medication therapy monitoring. This is very key because pharmacy is one of the most accessible member of the healthcare team. It's the first stop even before the patient sees the clinicians. So pharmacists need to assess the patient every time they come to the clinic monitor all the drugs they are using, have a record of all the medication that the patient is using, assess the effect of the drugs, both the beneficial and non-beneficial effect of the drugs, then advise the patient on how to take the medication so that they can be able to achieve optimum outcome from the medication therapy. Another thing we encourage pharmacists to do, like Cost General, we open several units pharmacy outlet, we have a critical care pharmacy which basically deals with patients in ICU, patients in high dependence unit, patients in a renal unit, and patients who are going for surgery. These are critical patients who need maximum attention, both from the clinicians, the nurses, and pharmacists. So we have a team of pharmacists who specialize in this area of critical care pharmacy 
And they're also doing a very wonderful job in terms of deciding which drug to use on particular cases, what are the doses to be used, they advise the physicians and the nurses, and also monitoring what are the therapeutic outcomes. Other areas include special clinics, that is long-term condition like diabetes, hypertension, psychiatric. On a patient basis, we have pharmacists who are also interested in these areas. Usually when the patient comes in, they select a few patients, especially those who are not responding very well to treatment. If they find out why these patients are not responding on treatment, is it because of the doses of the drugs they are using, or is it because how they are taking the medications? So they give advice in case where there is interaction, they advise on which drugs to best use. In the cases, it's because of poor adherence. The pharmacist takes the patient through adherence medication counseling and helps the patient achieve their desired therapeutic outcomes. Other areas include supply chain management. We know that constant availability of drugs is very essential for continuity of service provision. We are pharmacists who are focusing on drug utilization review. It's a scientific way of programming how to procure commodities, when to procure, at what quantities. So it helps as plan and also in focusing and quantification. Because over time, trends and use of pharmaceuticals change. And it's very important to understand why those changes occur, especially in the healthcare sector. And also because of the influence from pharmaceutical marketing, it's very important to select commodities based on good evidence, based on sustainability, and also based on pharmacoeconomics. So a number of pharmacists, again, are working on drug utilization studies that informs the Medicine and Therapeutic Committee on what drugs to add in the formulary list, what drugs to remove from the formulary list, and also management in terms of requesting for budget allocation. This is the kind of information that is required for us to be able to get sufficient budgets to sustain supplies. The main challenge we are facing, especially in the oncology clinic, most of our patients come in very late. Most of them come in at stage 3 and stage 4 because most of them are not aware of the condition. The diagnosis comes in very late because of our poor health-seeking behavior. So as pharmacists, we need to create awareness on cancer screening on a regular basis. At least at the age of 40, people should have an habit of having a screening at least once in a year. And for those who have a high risk, at least twice in a year. For children, that those who are suspected, especially from lower levels, they should also have this knowledge that when they suspect a case, it should be referred to higher levels for further diagnosis and management. So that if we capture the cancer at stage one and stage two, then the management is easy and also we are able to have high success cure rate than when it comes in stage three and stage five. Thank you. I hope we will have an opportunity to tell you more.